In this video, I'm going to show you on how to compute the value of variance of ungrouped data by using Casio FX570EX. Okay, consider this example. Now, we need to calculate the value of variance. Okay, and this is um, ungrouped data. I have 40, 30, 70, 60, 148 and also 60. Okay, so the very first step is you must reset the setting and the memory inside this calculator. Press shift button followed by number 9 and then press number 3 and then press equal for yes. And then press AC button to clear the screen of your calculator. Okay, the next step is press shift followed by setup. Okay, shift. Okay, followed by setup button. And then press arrow down button. Okay. And then press number 3 for statistics. Okay. So for this one, we need to turn off the frequency because uh, we don't have any frequency value for our data set. So turn off the frequency. Okay, next step, press menu button. Okay, and then we need to uh, choose option number 6 for statistics. Okay, so press button 6. And then press number 1 for variable. Okay, now the next step is we need to key in our x values into this calculator. So our first x value is 40 equal. Okay, press equal button to save this data. The next one is 30 and then 70, 61, 48 and the last one is 60. Okay, and then you can press AC button to clear the screen of your calculator. Okay, the next step is we need to obtain the summation values from the calculator. As we all know, this is the formula for variance. Okay, uh, to calculate the variance, uh, you must substitute the value of summation of x square, summation of x, and also n. So we must obtain these three summation values. Okay, so to obtain these three summation values by using this calculator, first you need to press option button, OPTN button, followed by number two, okay, for variable calculator. Okay, the first summation is summation of x. As you can see here on the screen of this calculator, summation of x is 309. So this is uh, summation of x, 309. Okay, and then the next one is summation of x square. Okay, summation of x square is here. Okay, after the summation of x, the value is 17025. Okay, and the last one is n. Okay, to obtain n value from this calculator, you need to press this arrow down button. Okay. For n value, it is 6 as stated uh, in the calculator. Okay, now the next step is we want to obtain the final answer of variance from the calculator. So, you, you, you need to clear the screen of your calculator first. Okay. Alright. So, now press option button, OPTN button. Okay, and then press arrow down button. Okay. And then you need to choose number 2 for variable. Number 2. Okay. So we have 6 options. For variance, we don't have the exact value for variance in the calculator. But we have the value of standard deviation. For, stand, for sample standard deviation, uh, you need to refer to this option number 5. SX. SX. So press number 5 for sample standard deviation and then press equal. Okay, this is actually the value of standard deviation. Okay, and as uh, we all know, for variance value, it is actually the square of standard deviation. So to obtain the variance value, the final answer for variance, you just need to square this answer. So just press square button here, this one. And then press equal. So this is the final answer for variance. 222.3. 222.3. 2, 2, 2. 
222.3.